today, I have a giant bag from the Lego store. All right, so the first things in the bag are some Lego store calendars. I got the one for November and then the one for December. Those are always nice to get because I kind of like collect those store calendars. And then I also got the Lego Holiday 2015 catalog. I actually already got this in the mail, but they always put this in the bag for me at the Lego store. And then I also got the Lego Club magazine. That is pretty cool. And then I did get uh, two more of these Lego Series 14 monster minifigure packs. The first time I went to get some of these, um, I was feeling and I couldn't find two of the figures that I wanted, so I did go back and I was able to find the other two minifigures that I wanted to get. I will be opening these two packs in a separate video. And then I also got not one, but two more of the Lego Halloween trick or treat sets. And then I also got not one, but two more of the Lego Thanksgiving Feast set. I will explain in just a few minutes here why I got two more of each of those sets, even though I already have one of each of those. And then here's the big set that I got in this haul. This is the Lego Creator Santa's Workshop set. That is an awesome set there. And then the last thing in the bag is the Lego Christmas Train. I was super excited that I was able to get this. I try to get these, you know, limited edition seasonal sets every year if possible, just because they're awesome, cool, collectible little sets. So now I'm going to explain to you why I got two more of the Lego Trick or Treat and Thanksgiving Feast sets, even though I already have one of each. So I've been interested in investing in Lego for quite some time now. And the other day I was just doing some research on it and I stumbled upon this website called BrickInvesting.com. I will leave a link to that website in the description of this video. But basically it's this website where you can look up the set number of a Lego set and it'll tell you a lot of useful investing information about that set, but mainly it'll tell you how much is that set currently worth on eBay. And so I was looking on the Lego Shop at Home website for some ideas on which sets I should look up on this Lego investing website, and I noticed that both the Lego Trick or Treat and the Thanksgiving Feast sets were sold out on Lego Shop at Home. I wasn't really surprised about that just because these are both very cool limited edition seasonal sets and those kinds of sets tend to sell out pretty fast and so I looked both of those sets up on this Lego investing website and it turns out both of them are worth around $20 on eBay and I was like wow that's awesome so I called my local Lego store today and it turns out they had a bunch of them so I went and got two of each in hopes of selling them on eBay and making a profit. That is also the reason that I got the Lego Creator Santa's Workshop set. I looked it up on this website and it turns out it's worth around $100 on eBay when it normally retails for around $70. And I'm guessing that's because it's sold out on Lego Shop at Home because it's extremely popular and you know people are trying to get it fast in time for Christmas so they're willing to pay extra for it on eBay. And so I called my Lego store and it turns out they had this too so I went and got it. I would keep it, you know, it's a very cool set, but I just don't really need the pieces that are in this set, and I would rather sell it and make a profit and use that money to buy other LEGO sets and pieces that I will use to build my mocks. So that is everything that I got in this awesome LEGO haul from my local LEGO store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.